Hi guys, Tech Mason here, um, testing out a live stream, and I was going to talk about a few things I've been working on, um, mostly a sawn-off control light switch. Um, so what it really is, is it's you replace your decor style light switch with a um, Wi-Fi controlled sawn-off powered one. So here's your regular uh, light switch. We've all seen these, thousands of them probably. Um, so it goes in the wall like that. So what we want to do is replace it with something like this, which uh, this one has a uh, clear or transparent, translucent uh, paddle, I call it, in the middle. Uh, there's also some other designs I have where I've got a translucent back or body and a solid white paddle. These are not uh, don't have the guts in them, but um, and what happens there is my intention is the outside ring glows rather than uh, the paddle itself. So um, what it consists of is a uh, a few different things. So I'll show you the sawn off itself. So that's one of the sawn off basics. They're uh, um, they're labeled as the five dollar smart switch or Wi-Fi smart switch. Um, that's five dollars US, maybe a little more. Um, you get them from China uh, with shipping, everything else. They they really aren't five bucks, but but they're cheap anyways. Uh, probably all in all about eight to ten bucks Canadian for Canucks out there um, so really <coughs> all I've done here is I have uh, I'll make a few comments about this sawn off here too but uh, so I'll split that open and uh, so what you do is uh, input I believe is yeah, input is on this side. It goes into the relay there. Um, so you put a neutral, yeah, a neutral or white wire right there, and uh, then the hot wire or black wire typically goes right there. That goes through the relay. Um, it's all Wi-Fi controlled. It's got an LED right there, and we have poor light here, but try and make that a little better. Um, that's a switch at the top. Um, and uh, yeah, cheap enough. So uh, one thing I'd like to mention about these, and this is a big improvement that Sonoff could do, is don't trust wires in here. They just don't stay. There's no bite on there. It's smooth. You can tighten them down and hold this as tight as you want, and they're still going to come out. So um, you know you're playing with live voltage, 120 volts here in my case. So uh, be careful. Um, it's too bad Sonoff didn't have like teeth or something a little bit better in there to actually hold the wire. So yeah, even when you're doing it like this in the case, um, you really don't get much bite there. I don't know if you can see that, but uh, yeah, just be careful. Um, so my deal here is I don't want these ugly things hanging all over the place. It's okay if you put an extension cord on one end and a plug on the other. But uh, I actually want to replace my light switches. So I did a 3D design of a uh, body here. Uh, let's see where I got this one. Um, so a body like this, which is very similar to this, a little bit bigger, but uh, very, very similar. Um, so we just go in and we pull. Now it's just hot on one of these normal switches, which is black. Uh, typically, so um, you do need a neutral wire. So we pull one of these out, we um, tie this in, and let me show you how this goes together. So it's a two-piece two 3D print. Um, so this one's the white body with the translucent. So it's got a stopper, stopper right there so that you don't squash this button. That's a button right there um, and that's a little bit challenging oh, you can't see that very well but uh, that's a little bit challenging because there's about 
0.3 millimeters of throw on that switch. So the distance from the bottom of this to that groove right there, if you can see it where the board goes in, is pretty critical. So I did a lot of donking around with that. So uh, you need a pin in here and uh, necessity is the mother of all invention. All I really did for a pin is I had some rivets kicking around and I just uh, used a rivet. You can pop, say pop rivets, you can pop that thing off of there easily enough. So that comes out of there, measured the size of the, the, uh, the rivet. And uh, now I do have a a blank rivet in my drill that I just ream these out with after I print them. So you put this in here and somehow sometimes you gotta monkey around with it. This one's gonna cooperate so there we go. So we got the flapper there now and uh, all we do is now this is keyed. Uh, I don't know if you can see that. There actually is get the right angle here there is a keyway there which matches up with that keyway so I've got the dimensions just right here so it fits in nice and snug and you should hear a little click when you get it pushed in all the way so it's all the way into the back of that slot and uh, I don't know if you can hear that but it's a nice tactile feel um, and that's the unit. So um, I'm just in the process. A friend of mine wants to do a whole bunch of his lights. So I'm actually going to um, solder wires directly onto these traces back here. So you only really need one neutral because uh, as you can see here, so the input on this neutral goes to the output there and that's just a solid trace so all we really need to do is solder one white wire on here this would be your input hot black wire and this would be your output um, so if i get these all straightened up i put some lettering in here so uh, coming out we'll have one black coming in uh, and what goes to a, to a pigtail will be a white and the the source black so the hot um, so that's uh, pretty much about it, guys. Um, I guess I can show you the soldering, um, but it's going to be, I'm challenged enough to do soldering. So uh, it's, uh, I don't think I'll do that in this video. So over to my other camera here. So here's the bottom of the board. Um, so I'm going to try and rig this up somehow so that, I can hold that sucker there and get a good solder on it and uh, and that will all be good. So uh, I think that's probably about it for now and uh, when I have a complete unit maybe uh, that's all lit up I'll maybe stream it again. Thanks.